I apologize for coming at an inopportune moment, but Fraser and I have an agreement that we'll make time for each other if either one of us has something urgent to discuss, which I do. Take all the time you need. This whole thing's just a little too complicated for me. down that mango, my dear. It's time you tasted the forbidden fruit. <laughs> Lilith! What are you doing here? I have something urgent to discuss. What have you done with Madeline? She was surprised to see me and she left. I hope you're not angry with me. Angry? What do I have to be angry about? Just because every time I carve out the tiniest little slice of happiness myself, you'll come along and obliterate it. My God, woman, I drive a stake through your heart, but I don't think anything could kill you. <laughs> Brian asked me to marry him. What? He wants to stop in Las Vegas on our way home. You're getting married? Yes. Well, so am I. Really? Yes, yes, to Madeline. Well, I just saw Madeline. She seemed in an awful hurry for someone who's getting married. She had to buy a dress. <laughs> oh, God, what am I doing? I'm not getting married. Wow, you really had me going. <laughs> Frazier. I don't want to disrupt anything. Really, I just came here hoping to get your blessing. You could have given you my blessing over the phone. Must you be so churlish? Oh, I think I'm entitled. You know, the one comfort in being divorced is that you're both losers. Eventually, the time comes when one person is the first to move on. Quite frankly, I'd hoped it would be me. <laughs> well, I'd hoped it would be me. And it was. <laughs> But I'd like to think that had things worked out the other way around, I would have been happy for you. Well, if you love him, I am happy for you. I do.